Uh, as we get closer to CitizenCon, sometimes these shows become harder to put together, right? Still fun to watch. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubifar. On the 2nd of August, 2024, there was an hour-long Star Citizen Live narrative history. Here's what you need to know. As I said, this type of show is most crazy for me to try to condense into this short format. Today, they would discuss lore, which is really the most important thing for a thriving MMO. One hour would be invested in the discussion, but Jared did mention that as CitizenCon is months away and coming up, that the content type might change to a more peanut gallery type of mode, I guess that's what he said. The interview format today would not have a real focus on the game itself as it would focus more on the members of the panel. We had Dave and Will, Star Citizen Royalty. They spoke for about three minutes about how much they liked the actual studio, the only constant, and then specifically about helmets on the display wall, whether or not they would want to try them on. Will is narrative director with 10 years plus at CIG, and he's uh, lore, backstory, branding, missions, like all of it, all of the good stuff that we need. And Jared said that he must have been hired a couple months just before him. Dave is also narrative director, so many of the same things that Will does. Heavy influence on Squadron 42, but factions and gangs, the history of the various systems. And Jared noted that Dave was one of the first five team members at CIG all the way at the start. Jared said that he really wanted to reach back in time and talk about the very beginnings after many, many minutes of speaking about personal things that really were difficult to compress. The conversation went deeper into the stuff that I was more interested in, which is the actual game. Jared asked about the challenges associated with building the lore for 100 star systems. Will commented that the lore is very dynamic, and as more things are made, some of the things were said to need to be retconned. The original galactic guides are mostly still relevant, and if you don't know, those were the uh, segments on Inside Star Citizen. There's like maybe 20 or 30 of these shows. They're all super good. Lore Master's Guide to the Galaxy, I believe is what they were called. And he said that uh, they're still relevant, but many things have been changed and many things will continue to change. And that might be one of the reasons why this show isn't happening anymore because of the dynamic nature. They spoke about Pyro specifically as many of the original facts that we knew are changed in what we're getting. And they said that this was not meant to frustrate or confuse the backers, but these changes and adjustments ensure that the gameplay and the player experience isn't hobbled by some old lore posts. They spoke about how these changes were originally upsetting to the lore team, the narrative team, because it was a deviation from the original plan, but as more changes were needed by the game directors, the narrative team understands and they tried to create the best fit, the best new lore for the situation. Jared asked about what the original idea was behind Pyro and they said that it's quite straightforward. A central star is broken and that was the beginning and the rest of the lore seemed to fall into place dangerous to travel because of all the radiation, uh, gravity wells and all that stuff. And because of that, it's also difficult to operate around all of those situations. So that would cause mass industry and law to kind of abandon the area and make it unlikely that they would move in. With no oversight and no influence, it made sense that the lawless would move in as the UEE may never take on the job of sorting out the area. And Will said that this also offers a unique mission opportunity for the future. Jared said that next week they were going to cover some other gangs and he wanted no spoilers and the rest of the show was pretty difficult for me to condense into this format as i said i would strongly suggest that if this is the sort of content that you really like perhaps wait for the official upload on youtube and then take the time to let it play in the background that's it thank you very much for spending your time with me fly safe and i'll see you in the verse